kilo is day 158 of 365 and today I've got to say goodbye to Bev again because she's off to York to do another wedding. I don't know these crazy wedding photographers. It's quite a nice day for a four hour drive though. Bye bye Beverly. Bye, bye bye. Oh well, off she goes again, but at least this time she's got her own camera so I get to keep mine because tomorrow we've got Photo Marathon 2010 which is going to be a lot of fun. There she goes. Bye. I've got a pretty busy day on myself today, actually. First of all, I'm gonna send some prints to another exhibition in Edinburgh, and then I've got to go to court. That's gonna be fun. Couple of parcels there, both going to Edinburgh Photographic Society. This one, Bev's, that one's mine. They've both got some unsuccessful printing that went to the RPS exhibition, which I was successful in, but obviously they can't all get in, which I'm trying my luck elsewhere, which uh, will carry on going around to all the different exhibitions. And boom, suddenly, just like that, I look like a double glazing salesman. First things first, I get these prints sent off, so I'm off to the post office, and then let's go and find these law courts, which I'll tell you about later. Gemma's come for the walk with me, who is also going to a wedding tomorrow, just like Bev, but she's going in the opposite direction, down country. However, she's not leaving till 5pm, so uh, she's got a little while to hang around in the sunshine up here in Newport. I tell you what, when I get married, I'm not going to disrupt anyone's lives. Or maybe one person's. Right, here we are at the post office. Between me and Bev, we sent eight prints to the Edinburgh Photographic Society, which will be judged in a month's time or so. The closing date for this competition is on the 18th, so uh, we've got to get them in now, quickly. I just used that machine again. It's so fast, I've never been in and out of here so quick. Right, I need to find these law courts, sit down, and gather my thoughts. I'm really not looking forward to this. That big building there is where I've got to go, I think. Oops, I got lost. I was on the wrong side of the river. I believe it's over this side, actually, that big tall building there. Wasted 20 minutes. Right, I made it. I'm gonna have to turn the phone off, I think. I don't think I'm allowed to record in here. I've got about an hour to wait until my hearing. And before anyone jumps to conclusions, I just want to make it clear that I've done nothing wrong here. I'm at court because someone tried to steal money off me. The case has been ongoing for about two years now. And due to the incompetence of my solicitors, he's counterclaimed me for his costs. And it's, well, it's just sickening. I'd like to talk about it more, but I really shouldn't. Basically, I'm here to get raped by a very, very dishonest man. It's upsetting. Can you tell? Half an hour to go. Adjourned. The weasel didn't turn up. Sat there chatting to the judge for about 20 minutes without the other guy there. And, well, I felt it felt very, very unfair and... The, the, the judge suggested that the whole case be adjourned with him there. I think he's a bit of a coward, really, for doing this. Uh, only having the balls to send a letter in and not see me face to face, look me in the eye. There are untrustworthy people in this world. Very, very, very evil, sad, little weasels. But enough of that. The first World Cup match is about to start. South Africa v Mexico. So I'm going to go and watch that and cheer myself up. Going to have to find a nice pub in Newport to watch it. There's an oxymoron, if I've ever heard one. Nice pub in Newport. Gemma didn't come with me to the courts, obviously. I wanted to go on my own. Uh, so she's going to come back out now and meet me wherever I find to sit and watch the match. Oh, I just can't help myself. 2-0 to South Africa. 11-1 to 1 odds. 
going to faithful Riley's to watch it. Gemma's is here already, I believe. Hey, Tremlett. Brilliant. World Cup is finally here. Half time and it's still nil nil. Bet is still on. Hey, one nil. What a goal by the South African Shabba Laba Laba Laba. Oh, pants. One all. There goes my bet. First match of the tournament finished one all. What a great match as well. Shame my bet didn't come in, but it's only a bit of fun down the bookies, isn't it? Gonna go back home now, get this video rendered, I think. My little friend Lloyd is coming around this evening. He's gonna stay around here because uh, we're all off to Cardiff in the morning to do this photo marathon thing. Tomorrow's gonna be a good video, I should think. Welcome back to April. Well, Gemma's gone now. So it's just me left here. Well, Duncan's here, but uh, both the girls have gone home to their respective counties. Lloyd's on his way up now. Uh, hopefully my mate Dave's going to come up as well. So it could be a quite a fun evening tonight. And Gemma has left me her room keys. Oh, the temptation to wrap the entire room up in birthday paper is overwhelming. Tumpty tumpty tum. Oh, what can I do? <laughs> I'm only kidding, Gemma, I won't do anything. Little Lloyd's just got here, so I've got to go downstairs and let him in. Hello, Lloyd! Hello. <laughs> he was here already. Hey? It's when it's mild. Does it? Lloyd's brought vodka. Yeah. Lloyd's got a massive abscess in his mouth, so he can't smile, it hurts him too much. So tomorrow is going to be a really, really, really big, exciting day. So make sure you tune in for that. We've got something called the Photo Marathon, which is where we go out in Cardiff with our digital cameras and take 12 photos throughout the course of 12 hours. That's from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. for this competition that 400 people will be running around Cardiff doing. So that's going to be really fun. On top of that, we've got the World Cup match, the first one. I've been waiting four years for this. England versus the USA in South Africa. It's the first match of our uh, group, so ah, mega excited. I'll be taking my England shirt in a Cardiff pub to watch that while photo marathons running. I'm not sure where my priorities lie, but I have to say football comes first. Oh dear, Lloyd's falling asleep. Lloyd, wake up. This is quite surreal for me because I can't shout at Lloyd and tell him to wake up because he's deaf. <laughs> no, he's out for the count. <laughs> Hey, my mate Dave from Winchester's just arrived. I'm looking forward to seeing him. Not seen him for a few months. I can see him over there in the car park. He's going to be coming with us on photo marathon at Cardiff tomorrow. So it's going to be a good fun boys night out. Day out. Night out. Day out. Hey! Hey, hey. Dave! Ah. Right, it's five minutes past ten. Dave's got here. Lloyd's here and he's still awake just. And I'm going to get an early night. Yeah, right. And then go to photo marathon in Cardiff tomorrow and watch the football too. So I'll speak to you then. Thank you very much for watching. It's a nine minute video today.